the world's gonna be rocked. Enjoy every moment you have with every single person. Don't worry that you're tired because you'll get a lot of sleep early in the, early in the new year. <laughs> hey guys, it's Lucy Hale. And for the last, I don't know how many days, I think we just started week five, I have been self-quarantining and social distancing along with all of you at home. So I'm sending you guys a bunch of love. But today I am going to let Elle ask me anything. So let's get this started. Well, I became a complete musical theater nerd uh, moving to New York and filming the season because there's so many Broadway musical theater elements to the show. So anything in that world, but also one of the songs in the pilot and the first time you actually get to see Katie walking down the street, it's Welcome to New York by Taylor Swift. So naturally that's kind of my anthem. Uh, I'm just not feeling really warmed up. So uh, we'll, we'll do that in the next video. <laughs> My fans would be most surprised to know that I would love to record a Disney princess song. And what I mean by that is I would love to play a Disney princess or some, some sort of uh, animated character where I would get to sing. I think that that would be really, really fun. My fans would be most surprised to know that I want to play a really dark, messed up, twisted left of center role. Um, if you've kept up with my career, I've gotten to play a lot of cool characters, played a lot of good girls, played a lot of people that make the right decisions, but I think it would be really fun to play someone who um, doesn't make all the right decisions and who is really flawed and who is damaged and that's just really real and relatable to me. So I would love to do, to do wow, can't talk. I would love to do that one day. <laughs> In my past life, I was absolutely in my dog Elvis's life. I don't know if I was his owner or if he was my owner or if we were friends. I totally believe in reincarnation and I know for a fact that I've known Elvis in a life before because we are just entirely too connected and he's to my left sleeping right now, but he's the best. Two things that I'm grateful for in this moment. Uh, number one, my health, definitely. I think with everything going on in the world right now, you know, we take so much for granted and, and our health can be one of those things. So I'm grateful for that. God, I, I mean, sitting in my house, it makes me realize how much I, I, I'm super grateful for. But the other thing I'm grateful for, my dog Elvis. I'm doing this quarantine alone and I just simply don't know what I would do without him. Elvis has joined us. He got a bath today. Thank you, he's spoiled rotten. King of my heart. I just think as humans, we just don't deserve dogs. They are so pure and special and genuine and their intuition about how we're feeling is just goes beyond anything I can understand. Elvis really is like my emotional support dog. I, he's, we've been through so much together and he's my little shadow. No matter what, I come home, I know that Elvis is gonna be excited to see me. It's the one thing that, that is consistent in my life probably is my dog and his love for me and my love for him. He's just the greatest little guy and we're all biased. We all think we have the greatest dog. I, I'm actually thinking about getting another one, but I just don't, <laughs> I just don't possibly know how I could love another dog as much as I love him. It just doesn't seem possible. The three things that have kept me most occupied during this time have been streaming services. I am fresh out of shows. I need something new to watch. Working out, I, uh, I got a Peloton treadmill, so I feel really lucky that I, I have some sort of way to, to exercise. And oh gosh, what else has kept me occupied? A lot of puzzles. I've always been a puzzler, but especially during this time, I've created like a puzzle swap with some of my friends. So that's been fun. Um, I always considered myself an introvert. I'm not very social. I'm very much a homebody. But I always thought that introverts liked being alone. But what I've realized about myself is that I actually need 
um, the connection with people. Like this goes against human nature, not, not being able to interact with one another. But I think I've realized that I'm more, I'm not as introverted as I thought. I'm an introvert who loves people. So I'm not in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense, I think. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been lucky in my life. I have so much support and it's been great. And uh, I think that that starts with my family. I don't know how they were like, yeah, Lucy's gonna move to LA and, and pursue acting, but they were totally on board. My mom moved out with me. And <laughs> uh, so my mom, for sure, my dad, my sister, my manager, who's like a second mother, all my friends. Um, and slowly but surely, I've become a cheerleader of mine. It took me a while to um, create a lot of self-confidence and self-love. And we're not quite there, but we're getting there. And um, I think you kind of have to be a cheerleader for yourself in this life, because if you're not, then nobody else is going to do it. So, uh, and of course, all the people that have supported me from the very beginning, I'm just always overwhelmed with all the, with all the support, a lot of gratitude. I know this sounds so cliche and you're like, okay, but I've never thought about doing anything else. Um, I wasn't really good at anything else. I was just always really creative and I was in very, introverted child. And I think that the way I express myself came through like creating plays or singing songs or pretending to be a Disney princess. And that sort of, it, that grew into acting lessons and singing lessons. And then a light bulb went off in my head when I was, I don't know, early teenager. I was like, oh my gosh, I, can, I, I, want, I need to do this for a living. Because it, it was the only thing I knew how to do. And it was the only thing I knew how to do well. And luckily I loved it. And luckily I still love it. I think there was a time I also wanted to be a vet, veterinarian, but um, that was short-lived, obviously. <laughs> well, I'm out of ideas to do at home and I taught myself to cross stitch, which I've actually fallen in love with. It's just sewing and they have the cutest little patterns that curse words on them or they have this really cool boob one that I want to cross stitch. So I've been doing a lot of that. I just bought a keyboard. I'm like, what better time to learn an instrument? Hopefully I commit to it. Bought a bunch of painting stuff. And uh, I think that should keep me occupied for a little bit. I know a little guitar, but I've been trying to really master guitar for years. And every time I try to relearn it, I just get a new guitar thinking that it was the guitar that kept me from learning. But anyway, I'm trying to keep myself occupied with all the hobbies, but up next is the keyboard for sure. I like this question. When it is time to indulge, I order some french fries and I dip them in buttermilk ranch dressing. No question about it. I'm reading a book called Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. It's so beautifully written. I don't want it to end. God, it just really takes you back to that time and puts you in the place. I've never read a book that describes the scenery so well. Um, it's, it's been on my list for a while and it was a bestseller, so I'm sure a lot of you have read it, but wow. Okay, so I've never, I've seen random Sex in the City episodes, but I've actually started from the very beginning. Uh, and it's incredible. I mean, there's nothing like it. There are some Sex in the City elements to Katie Keene, because I think Game of Thrones might be after that. I'm on Ozark, I've seen every documentary. I, like I said, I'm out of shows, so I need recommendations. There's a lot of time for self-care. Usually I only have like an hour a day where I commit to self-care, whether it be working out or usually working out, but sometimes I'll meditate or whatever. But I think that this time for a lot of people is all about self-care and it's all about healing and sitting alone with ourselves and where we want to grow and where we want to be better. So I'm uh, beginning to meditate a lot, a lot of journaling, doing some cooking. There's something about cooking for yourself that just feels good. I am exercising, running, a lot of walks with my dog Elvis. Yeah, I mean, mainly it's just, it's not shying away from all the thoughts in my head and just saying, okay, now is the time to deal with it. What better time to deal with it than, than being stuck at home? I mean, I always find parts of myself in the characters that I play, but I, <laughs> I see a lot of myself in Phoebe Waller-Bridge's character in Fleabag. I think that's why it did so well, because here's a strong female lead who's just coming apart at the seams and is a mess and has a lot of issues. And I think that, that all of us were like, yes, I, that's me. I see, I totally see myself in her. Not everything, but a lot of it. <laughs> 
Oh wow. I think, I think, I don't know. I mean, I think that that role for me is still out there, but, but there are parts of Katie Keene that she's so optimistic and so happy and so glass half full all the time. I guess maybe I'm a little more jaded at life. So it, it's sometimes tricky to, to remain that positive um, because I can be um, just a little more realistic, I guess. Uh, but I strive to be to be more Katie Keen like for sure in my life. I would say yeah, the world's gonna be rocked. Enjoy every moment you have with every single person. Those nights you want to stay home, go out to dinner with those friends. You go to those workout classes. Just soak it all in because there's gonna be some time that you're gonna have off. So just enjoy the work, enjoy the hustle. Don't worry that you're tired because you'll get a lot of sleep early in the early in the new year. <laughs> the first person I want to hug after social distancing is over is definitely my family in Tennessee. My two nieces, my little baby nephew, my sister, my brother-in-law, my dad, um, my mom, my stepdad. Uh, but probably my mom will be first. It's, it's so hard to be away from family during this time. I mean, I think I should have just gone home to spend all this time with them. But anyway, they will be the first people and I can't wait. Okay guys, well that was fun. Kept me occupied. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me and Elle today. And be sure to catch Katie Keen on The CW on Thursdays. Uh, and be sure to subscribe to Elle to see more videos like this. I hope you guys stay safe. We can do this. I love you guys. Elvis loves you too. All right, I'll see you later.